please prepare to do the big inhale and start inhaling now. So inhale as deeply as you can through your nose, fill your lungs as much as you can. Okay, now start, meaning slowly control the exhale through your nose. You're trying to let that air out as slowly as possible. And I'm just gonna call out every 10 or 15 seconds or so. And you want to note when your lungs are empty. I know you can hold your breath with your lungs empty. That is not an accurate measure, 15 seconds. It is important that you note when your lungs are empty and that you're trying to control the exhale as much as possible so that you don't arrive at that lungs empty time too quickly. I'll explain what too quickly means. 30 seconds. Okay. For those of you that have already reached lungs empty, please go back to breathing normally. For those of you that haven't, you can hang in here a little longer. If you're still discarding that air, 45 seconds. And we're rounding toward a minute, not quite there. Some of you are probably still letting out that air. I want to point out none of this has to do with cardiovascular fitness level, at least not in any kind of direct way. And 60 seconds. And I realize there will be a small subset of you out there that are still exhaling your air in a slow lungs, uh, in slow exhale manner through the nose. Okay, so what we just did is a back of the envelope carbon dioxide discard rate, okay? If you need to pause this and go back and try it again, you just want to time how long it takes you to go from lungs full to lungs empty. Again, with the full understanding, I know that you can all sit there like beasts and hold your breath with your lungs empty, but please don't do that because that's not going to be informative for what I'm telling you now. What I'm going to tell you now is that if it took you 20 seconds or less to expel all your air, that is, you couldn't extend that exhale longer than 20 seconds, in a kind of back of the envelope way, we can say that you have a relatively brief or low carbon dioxide tolerance, okay? If it took you somewhere between 25 and 40, maybe 45 seconds to expel all your air, that is you could control that exhale for about 45 seconds or 30 seconds, then you have a moderate level of carbon dioxide tolerance. And if for instance, you were able to go 50 seconds or longer for that discard until you hit lungs empty, you have a fairly high degree of carbon dioxide tolerance. 